Yep, 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 yep. Ah, screw it. Oh, been having trouble with the damn camera there. Plug it in, flip it so switch. It doesn't engage the software. I've got to open the software. I didn't acquire the camera to all kinds of steps, clicks and everything. About time for this camera to go down. 2004, I got it. Canon. What did that say? PowerShot A5, A520. Four pixel little piece of shit. With a 3x zoom. Took a lot of pictures of uh, indigo buntings a while back, and it turned out none of them are any good because I screwed up. Took, had it, zoomed it, and then uh, instead of downloading it, which I couldn't even at that point anyway, but eventually when I figured it out, I uh, anyway uh, I had zoomed it and then digital zoomed, and you can't do that with a four pixel camera if it you think you're not moving but if it's just moving a little bit it's too much four pixels can't handle that so I had a bunch of blurry pictures oh uh, put the one the one up after this little clip anyway uh, there for a bit I was thinking I'll, I'll never be on YouTube again <laughs> uh, faking it yeah had to get that out of the way not really <laughs> I missed you all so much uh, not really uh, yep yes we thought I was gone forever oh Oh, crap. Okay, there's a purple, I mean an indigo bunting. My hair is getting in the way. Indigo bunting in the grass right over there, right in the middle of the viewfinder. Oh, my hair is still getting in the way. Damn it. There he is. I've got to get the weed eater out and get that little clump of grass. The lawn's not worth mowing because we're in a drought. But some of the bird seeds growing up right below the bird feeder. So that's the male indigo bunting. Took some pictures the other day. None of them turned out. It was in hour and a half before dusk and this four pixel camera just don't cut it oh there you go see you see that little blue thing it just went away there were some and those are just common finches right there I'll try to get a little footage here in a bit of the yellow finches they're pretty brilliant okay I'm back no luck with the yellow finches I get on that thing right there uh, yeah I had, a, I had a little just now I had a little fecal urgency thing boy I barely made it to the toilet splattered shit on my ass cheeks big time uh, I hate when that happens yeah here's the uh, mimosa tree and I've got the uh, when you call it the asparagus ferns they were in the house they're hanging hanging on here now the asparagus ferns one right there one right there that's the thing we little cage we put uh, these uh, greasy soot cake things we're out of them now the little birds can get in there they own that. The big ones can't get in. Yep. Pretty dry. Here in Southern Illinois, we need rain. 
Day lily, I think that's what my mom calls that. Yeah, well, oh, that blue thing over there. Uh, let me turn this off a second. Yeah, this here is a hydrangea. I really put the miracle grow to it good the last couple of years. It finally caught up and it and got indoctrinated into its root system and it's been putting out good color now. It's a, called a hydrangea. This little tree here is called Rose of Sharon. Some people get fancy and they call it Rose of Sharon. And I'm going to have to get out the the root feeder thing, the thing I probe down on the ground and feed this begonia right here. Not begonia, rhododendron. Rhododendron. Them and the azaleas are really having a hard time. Of course, they're not indigenous to Southern Illinois. They're really kind of a Georgia type plant. You get droughts like this, you've got to probe them with a the root prober. I'll show you that. Geranium and trying to get some ferns going here. Fern City. Yep. Uh, that there, that's the the root probe feeder. Put a garden hose on it. You stick that down in the ground. Water goes down. I'm gonna have to end up doing that on the redbud tree out front. It's starting to get wilty. Yep, the old Scots. There's where the hose goes. You can put fertilizer inside there. Ta-da! Root probe feeder. Really good thing. Yeah, that's what I like. That's a uh, cone flower. The cone flower. I love those things. Oh, they're impatience down there. That there, black eyed Susans. They're really slow. We're going to have to end up putting more water to them. That right there is black eyed Susans starting to get blooms and it really take their time opening their blooms because I mean we are in a drought fern got ferns hanging on the porch there's a red bud tree here that's starting to get all wilty looking dogwood tree another fern we're just gonna leave the patriotic thing up till Fourth of July, I guess. <laughs> There's magnolia tree. That's a tree that's indigenous to the south, to Georgian stuff. Uh, whenever we get a really stiff winter, it drops all of its leaves. And that thing there is called a uh, balloon flower for some reason. Uh, there's a petunia I guess more cone flower see I forgot about this and I've hardly watered it and that's why it's hardly got any color yep 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 man there's a little uh, mimosa tree in my sister's front yard and she wants me to dig this one up right here and put it out there too yeah, and that's right here is called a butterfly bush, but there's not many butterflies around anymore, just like with honeybees. It's some kind of a weird thing. I think they're contagion. I don't know. Okay, there we go with the little uh, yellow fence yellow finch action he's not gonna last long once I start walking Oop, there he goes <laughs> okay there's a indigo bunting on the ground with a male cardinal of course the indigo bunting it is a male the females 
have a dark gray head and then it goes to a lighter gray down there eating away I think my mom went to go get some more bird food they're eating some residue I couldn't get the camera in time there was two indigo buntings and a pigeon there's always doves down here but I actually saw a pigeon with a black ring around its neck that's rare around here they usually stick to the ledges of the old buildings uptown anyway another indigo bunting okay ooh ah uh, yes the redneck drunk loser guy still has the right stuff Yeah, I nailed it.